Hi, I'm Pat Fleming. AccuStats Video Production has produced hundreds of videos over the years, and now we're introducing our first instructional video, The Creative Edge. This video won't tell you how to stand at the table, make a bridge, nor follow through, but to appreciate this video, you will have to know these basic skills. But regardless of whether you've acquired good or bad habits in these areas, all of the strategies and techniques in this video will work for you. The intent of this video is to open your mind to other options, different ways of approaching shots and situations. We'll talk about creative safety play and what to look for in a nine ball rack. We'll also discuss creative position play and what to look for in a straight pool break shot. And now, the creative edge. Everybody's found themselves at one time or another in a situation where traditional techniques just won't give you the position you need for your next shot. Here's an example. The two ball must be played in this pocket. The three ball can only be made in the same corner. Therefore, you must play position for this area. Now, none of the traditional methods work in this instance. For example, high English on the cue ball just sends it zigzagging up table. Let me show you. Outside English doesn't work either. It just sends the cue ball three rails to the wrong side of the table. Watch. The only shot that does work is inside English, but it must be applied in a special way. If you just use a Q-tip of inside English with a level stroke, watch what happens. On the last shot, the inside English only took effect on the first rail, but lost its effect on the second, and that's why the cue ball never made it around the table. What you must do is shoot the two ball with low inside English. This creates an angle off the two so that the cue ball is still spinning when it hits the second rail. The English then takes hold for the next two rails for position on the correct side of the three ball. Let's see what I mean. The key to this shot is to create an angle off the object ball so that the cue ball is still spinning with inside English after it hits the first rail. Once that's accomplished, the inside English reacts as outside English on the next three rails. We've set up another example that requires inside English reacting off the second rail. As you can see, there's only one pathway from the two ball to the three ball, and that is the cue ball into the side rail, back to this rail, but how do we get the cue ball back up table for the three ball? The answer is inside English. Let me show you how. The same technique applies here as with our last example. Create an angle off the object ball so that the cue ball is still spinning with inside English after it hits the first rail. Controlling speed with follow is much more accurate than with draw. With ball in hand, most players play the ball in the pocket it's nearest, but they really should consider other options. For instance, given this layout, Playing the three ball with position for the four ball is difficult. You only have a small area for good position. Most players would play the three ball in this side and draw three feet, playing position for the four. A better alternative is to play the three ball in the opposite side with follow. You're much more in control of your speed. It's easier to follow three feet than it is to draw three feet, and you have a clear picture of where you're going. Let's play this shot with follow.
So remember, whenever you have ball in hand, consider follow for position. The jump shot and the jump cue are the most powerful additions to the game of nine ball in years. Everybody seems to have a jump cue, but still players have trouble jumping balls. The problem usually is that their left arm is too stiff, too extended. The right way to jump a ball with a jump cue is like this. Number one, bend your elbow. Bend your elbow so that the right arm is very comfortable, just like a regular shot. Elevate your cue about 45 degrees, put backspin on the cue ball, and make sure that left elbow is bent. When you're ready, follow through. The jump cue should be elevated at about 45 degrees. Notice that I'm putting backspin on the cue ball. But just as important is that you must feel comfortable. If you're right-handed, bend your left elbow. This will lower your body so that you can deliver a comfortable stroke with your right arm as comfortable a stroke as you would have with a normal shot. There's a couple of shots that come up just about every rack. Shooting over a ball and shooting when the cue ball's on the rail. Both of these shots can be painfully difficult. In regards to the over the ball shot, consider this. If you can, and if it's comfortable, rest your left arm on the table. This usually works best when the cue ball's a couple of inches in front of the object ball. Just about everybody plays this shot with their left arm high, but this creates tension and you have a tendency to poke or jab at the cue ball instead of stroking it. But by resting your left arm on the table, all the tension leaves and you can stroke the cue ball in a much smoother fashion. Now in regards to shooting when the cue ball is on or near the rail, there's the ever-present worry of miscuing and a good follow-through is just out of the question. Both of these problems can be eliminated with a special technique. When shooting these shots, apply a downward pressure with your right hand. This ensures a good follow-through because your cue stick stays down, level with the shot, and as a result, the chances of miscuing are slim. Another added benefit is that you can hit balls accurately at a much slower speed than you ever thought possible. Watch the difference. This first shot is without downward pressure. Notice that when using a loose grip without downward pressure, the cue stick has a tendency to fly upward after contacting the cue ball. The second shot is with downward pressure. Notice that with downward pressure, the cue stick doesn't fly upward, but rather follows through the cue ball. You can actually feel the difference. It's a much more solid hit.